Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumble Eat here. Welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over how you can grind the championship, whether you're trying to want to make these packs over time because it's an 81 um, plus rare player 7 pack. So you're guaranteed at least 781s minimum. This is going to be huge, especially when we don't have repeatable SBCs out. People are going to be able to come to this. Super fun. We're about halfway done with it. I'm going to show you what's been making me coins and tips that you can do to make these better. So if you guys do enjoy it, feel free to smack the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Now, this is for PlayStation. If you guys are on Xbox and PC, you have to check your own market. Um, but this has been working really well. So we're going to go look at what the current buy now price is. Looks like cards are 350 in the 59th minute. If we go to 400 coins, it looks like this is where there's a little drop. But basically, anything that you pick up for 250 coins or less, you're going to be making decent profit from. So what I'm going to recommend is if you're trying to pick up rares, obviously rares is going to be great for you to do a 250 bid. Um, even the non-rares, you can do 250. And you can always do the compare price feature beforehand. I'm just going to bid on them and see what we can win. So yeah, it looks like a lot here. We're going to go for the center backs. If it lets us. And a lot of these, it's going to be super simple to be able to get 500 coins out of. Um, right now, it's obviously going to be hard to win bids because I'm doing this on stream. Got some other people doing it as well. But I highly recommend you do this. Go through, compare price. You're going to see a lot of these guys are in demand. And a lot of people are willing to go to the buy now instead of win them on bids. So you can pick them up for 250, flip them for 500, 800. Depends on the card. But I'm going to show you kind of a glitch in the matrix. Something that is even better than the silver players. And this is bronzes. Now, if you look at the bronze market, not every bronze was selling for 200 coins earlier, um, but now it's starting to move up a little bit. So typically people don't bid on bronze cards. This is a very common thing to do for the, um, what is it? The CSL has a lot of bronzes. Um, it looks like people are actually catching on a little bit and the time I'm doing it, it's not the best, but if you put down some 150 bids, the amount of competition you'll actually get isn't that much. And a lot of these cards, if you pick up for 150, super easy to flip for 500, 600, 700 coins, especially if a person is a card or two away from completing a team. So what I recommend you guys do, find a time when there's a bunch of bronzes on the market or do bronze pack method yourself. Either way it works. You're just gonna wanna spam 150 coin bids. Now I did this before we started recording. I did this earlier on stream and it was working fantastic. So let's just kind of go through and compare price See what maybe has value, what doesn't. About a fourth of the teams don't require a full team. So keep that in mind. You can have like six players from a single team. The rest just have to be EFL player players from the league. So this guy right here we picked up for 150. Looks like we could sell for 500 coins. I'm going to store those in the club though. I'm just going to look at the duplicates. The center back we picked up, he's currently going for 700. We're going to put a 600 down for him. Easy coins right there. Um, this striker right here, looks like he's going for about 400 coins. We'll put it there. If he doesn't sell dudes, he doesn't sell. You just relist, do it for a little lower or wait until you do another run around. But this is going to be an easy way to print coins. The reason why a lot of people are going to be buying these bronzes as well is the demand for it. The fact that it's a new kind of pack, something that's relatable to either repeatable SBCs that EA would put out for promos or things that you could get out of um, icon swaps. This new format, I'm hoping EA continues to do with the new league SBCs coming out and the ones they have returning. I'd love to see like a 83 minimum, um, 83 plus pack with five players in it. That'd be cool. I would love to see a um, 83 double player pick or something too. Like, like make it fun like that. Give us more options. And I like the fact that EA is has it going where they only have the SBCs up for a month or two at a time, and then they take them down again. This gives them the opportunity to, in my opinion at least, listen to the community, whether they do or not, um, and implement some cool ideas. So hopefully, by the end of FIFA, I'm hoping we could have some really cool content to make for you guys, which we're about to hit 10 million coins. I will do a video on how I've gotten to 10 million coins. What kind of tips helped me get there down the line in the future but i'm super excited dudes there's a ton of content coming as we see these are already selling on got these both for 150 coins easy flips um so yeah 
Highly recommend you guys do it. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. That's going to be it. Short video for today. If you guys did enjoy, feel free to smack the like button. Subscribe if you're new. I will go through a video in the future on how to grind the championship in general. Um, this was just a quick trading tip I saw. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. It's been your boy Mumbly. I'm out. Peace.